Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel where today we have this really really strange not strange, it's strange for me to do a build like this because I usually stick to modern and more simpler builds but um, I was starting off to do a, just a simple bungalow build and you can see the exact moment when it changed into a barn I just put the red bricks on and I went and I changed the the roof and it was like bingo sirens went off in my head that I had to make it into a barn so that is what I did it was really 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 fun it's probably the, the video where I've done the most kind of landscape and trees and stuff like that outside even though it's not like loads it's a lot for me I always have this problem on the sims where like I'm trying to make a one story house and it never puts the roof on like the floor kind of thing so you put the roof on it never makes that and it really frustrates me so if you've any tips on how to make it so that it just goes on automatically please let me know I will really really appreciate it so I'm still making the bungalow here unaware of what's gonna happen Um, this is quite a long build for me as well it's about 15 minutes so bingo <laughs> that's where it happened and I was like I changed the shape of the roof automatically so quick and the door was a bit of a struggle and I just did not see the right door for a few minutes it was right under my nose of course and I just didn't notice it so oh, I'm out of breath already we have just a few rooms not much and um, it's only really room for two people in here some rooms are quite simple and some are a little bit more designed and decorated I guess is what you could say. Um, so we have the same windows mostly going around and they really really do suit it. I love the windows, they're definitely like barn type windows. There they are. So hopefully we're going to change that door because the door that I actually picked really did suit it. Yeah, there it is. It was probably just the best door to pick and it really did suit it and I was really happy that I could get the door right and the windows right because it just really does pull it all together and so then we went for a lot of the white picket fencing and we move it all back a lot so there's a really nice garden at the front and I love it it's really cute and I've never really done much like that so it was different and I hope you liked that a little bit so now we are just putting more of the touches to the outside the house, we are putting the tree there, which looks ridiculous. Yeah, no, don't put that there. So some little hedges, which really, 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 why did I have to say really so much like that was so unnecessary? It just, it looked well there. And then we are just trying out some other little different things. I just love this house so, so much. I thought it was so nice. It was like different like I'm always doing I feel like I'm always doing the same kind of um videos and I tried a few times I think to change the shape of the roof and I just had to stick with what I originally went with because I thought it was the best um this is on the gallery by the way so if you're interested in uploading it my gallery ID is down below and I have a ton of other houses up there and a ton of other videos to watch so if you're bored Please invite, please invite yourself to watch them, or I invite you to watch them. So there we are, we are moving back that area there, and that's not the same one, and we totally change it. So yeah, that look, does look better though, because the orange was kind of deserty, and I think that's actually what it's called. So, yeah. So now we are going to move back the hedges, and hopefully we're getting started on the garden, because it's really, really nice. Oh, deep breath. Oh my god. I only ever say deep breath for some reason when I'm recording a video. It is really, really strange. Deep breath. <laughs> I never say it unless I'm recording. What is that with me? Because I know I've kind of like I got a bad Irish ac accent, Irish accent. And if I say breath, oh my god. <laughs> so, no more talking about it. So, now we are doing this little walk up to the house area and. I actually do really, really love doing, you know how, you'll see it right now, I'm going to do it, where like it's been walked on a lot and it's so interesting to do that and I think it's really, really fun and it's really, really kind of realistic because it just is and I loved doing it. 
and so he changes that up and I put down these little lovely roses I think but oh I love this little area but uh, yeah that makes it really realistic I think and it's really fun to do because you can go a few different ways with it you can make it a different color and stuff like that so this is kind of the start of the little garden here we have more fences the same gate and then we are putting in ooh some daisy grass ooh um so then we go and we put in what do we put in nope and uh, yep 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 we put them there because it's a barn <laughs> it's a farm barn i don't know yeah we just put them there so these are little drainage systems i think which kind of just i thought yeah we put them in oh my god i should have put that in the back anyway too late so that was just this little bench area little seating area which we have in the latest cinderella video as well please check that out i'm really excited about it it's gonna be a new let's play and it's up on a channel a few videos so don't forget to check it out and some more trees you know you're always just trying to make well, I feel like I'm always trying to get like more and more things but sometimes it's simple and it's so much nicer when it's just a few things because if you've too many things it's just you don't know what to look at but sometimes it's, a lot of things can make a little bit more sense because the bigger the area and the less it has the more it looks bare and that you're not very good at sims and I've had a lot a lot of them so for the kitchen and living area here which is what we've just put the floor and the, the wooden walls up on is this is the little living area it's very simple um i wasn't sure what else to put into it so i wasn't going to put something in that i wasn't sure of i guess and i liked how it looked so i didn't really want to go and change it um so yeah I, I, I tried really hard i just didn't feel like anything was gonna work so i just left it simple that light was probably the first time I've ever used it because I always go for the same lights of course <laughs> so now I'm still trying Hannah give up you don't put anything in I would have left the dartboard probably if it would have fit but no, I wasn't really that interested maybe I wouldn't have left it <laughs> so now we are on to the bathroom and so what I did for this was just a funky kind of like for me the barn was kind of like you find like you hear people are giving away stuff and you come and get it for your barn kind of thing so there was a gents and a woman's um toilet door so there's two toilet doors to it which i thought was, was a nice little touch to team in with the kind of crazy barn bungalow idea and we have another few of them and uh, i think we've actually only one more so, oh no see the industrial kind of sink I think that came with get to work so it's not really for homes but of course you know it does look pretty normal <laughs> so now we are starting with the kitchen Um, I try to make like oh my god I get so confused with the bar like I had it the wrong way I didn't even realize it for a few seconds <laughs> yeah um, I just settled it up right then and the bars the bar stool I don't know this is where my computer went crazy <laughs> so we are just trying to put in some more props and decorations and we just left it with the fruit bowl and some salt and pepper shakers which just fit in nicely and they were kind of the same color of the whole team going on so now we are trying again to make the kitchen a little bit different but nope <laughs> It kind of seemed uneven but you know me I'm always trying to make it even and like symmetrical but not this time <laughs> and so I didn't I put the sink down this kind of area which I thought was really a nice touch and it kind of felt like a barn not that I've ever seen a barn really turned into a house although isn't there a Nicholas Sparks book for the live in a barn or what ha what book is that I cannot remember no it's not Nicholas Sparks I don't think I I don't know could be who knows <laughs> and so now we are on to the bedroom the last house the last house the last room I'm just trying to figure out what else we are going to be doing so um a lot of it is brown themed and i do change a little bit from this and 
it was hard to know exactly what a barn would look like so I just had to use my imagination and a lot of the stuff is brown because that just seems like what a barn would be like I guess and so we put we take that out because that's just too on barn like um so we go and change them uh, I don't know what I was thinking with the blue because there's a tiny little blue in the bed and I thought yep we gotta go with the blue I am so so like that and it's so annoying so this was quite a simple bedroom really nice though it was very fitting it was very fitting with the barn and just a little props a little flower and the books was a nice touch as well and I tried to make the carpet different but I don't know what I was thinking because that carpet was just too red <laughs> And again, here I go with the shape of the roof, which was just not going to work ever. It is the perfect shape, what it is now. And so now we are on to the back porch. I really never call it that. I, well, see, in Ireland we don't really have porches really as such. <laughs> um, so now more of the white picket fence, of course. Why not? And we just have more of the same steps. I think they're the same. I wasn't too bothered. <laughs> Um and a little bit of a different floor and then some little bins and we put in them shovelly and rakes and stuff and then we put that there in the kitchen because it looked good and it needed some little bit of decoration. And haha, there was the other thing, the fire exit door, which just seemed like a little prop someone was giving away and some crazy person who lives in a barn said, Hey, I'll have that for my barn. <laughs> That was that was literally going through my head when I was making that because it just seemed so like to fit in. I don't know, it's crazy. <laughs> and so now we're a little bit more onto the landscaping and stuff like that, which I do really find interesting. Um, the lights just did not go at all. I don't know what I was thinking. So then we, nope, not that tree. Yep, we put that tree there, and we put the twin tree over there. And then we put the more hedges, bushes, whatever you want to call them, all around, which was nice and a little bit more greenery. And do not laugh. What I did here was ridiculous. It looks horrible. I don't know what I was thinking. And now we are back to doing this front a little bit, which we just put some kind of them, the pink roses which is actually really really nice on it and we just put them there and two little chairs which I thought was really really nice it did kind of seem really barn like and so then we are doing a bit more of that there and that gate and a little bit around the tree and then these oh wait now wait wait for it wait for it nope nope Ta-da! Oh my god, they are so beautiful. I'm so definitely going to use them everywhere now. You're going to see a lot of them. And so then we are using them again on that tree. And what else? I was going to put some random ones, but then I decided not to. And so I think then we just have to go in the post box and we are done. Here are your pictures. I hope you enjoyed this. I know my picture skills are not the best, but... um they'll do and so like I said this is on the gallery if you are interested in uploading or downloading it to your game my gallery ID is down below and I have plenty plenty more to watch so thank you so much for watching this video I hope you really enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to check out Cinderella because it's gonna be fun so thank you for watching again everybody and have a bright and bubbly day uh, bye bye